Hello everyone, this is Kristen. In today's video I thought we would talk a little bit more about the Ipsy Glam Bag X Chloe Kardashian. Kardashian? No, it's Star Trek. Anyways, I thought we would talk about the Ipsy Glam Bag X because, wow, my video yesterday got a lot a lot of it so I just figured everyone's looking for it so I decided to wait a day to see what people got the variations they were getting I do have some information here we get went old school wrote it down on paper but uh, first I want to say man they ipsy really 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 did heavily market the fact that the Charlotte Tilbury and that herbivore prism product would be in these boxes I've included some of my skincare staples for you to try, and I just know you guys are gonna love them. I think that's why so many people are upset, because of course we all thought that would either be like a choice that we could choose for our bags, but no, they were not choices. They were just something that Ipsy you know, chose for you, because you do get five products chosen for you, and then you get to choose three of them. So I will say, also starting this, someone had posted a poll in uh, one of the Ipsy groups I'm in, and that's the Ipsy group that I pulled all this information from, so that uh, I believe it has 19,000 people, and it might actually be run by Ipsy, I'm not sure, I'll have to look that up. But anyway, someone put a poll in there and they said, if you'd known ahead of time what your ex would be, would you still have purchased the bag, the box? 122 people answered nope, 65 people answered yes, and 48 people answered maybe. So I just thought that was interesting. Now of course, mystery boxes are always a gamble, but I feel like it's a little bit of a bait and switch because actually every variation that I've seen, everyone got a N11 T1 skin product. <laughs> so it's just interesting. So, so there are three types of variations here for all the bags that I've seen. And I did look at 100 people's posts about their bags, so I this is a sampling of 100. So I'm just going to assume that this is, what's the word? Indicative? Yes, indicative of all the bags people got. So this is, I think this will probably be like the norm if you were to ask anyone what they got. So of course we have the one size Patrick Star palette. We have the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and then we have no palette and I'm gonna call it the Charlotte Tilbury variation because yeah yeah those are the variations there's the palettes and then there's the Charlotte Tilbury variation because the no palettes are all Charlotte Tilbury based so that acts like the palette and those variations so out of the 100 variations that I sampled so we have the one size palette so 34% of the variations had the one size palette 39% had the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and then 27% of the variations were the Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so we are going to look at kind of a breakdown of the of the items. I'm going to start with the one size. So the most prevalent variation for one size palette is you getting the 11T1 skin product, the ABH brow pen, the Rodeal pink diamond, and then the Tower lip product. I don't know if that's cream or liquid lipstick, whatever, but that's the most prevalent. The next most prevalent, which kind of ties with that one, but is the 11T1 skin product, the ABH pen, the MAC lipstick, and then the Rodeal pink diamond. I have seen a few variations of the 11T1 skin, the ABH pen, the Prism, the, the Herbivore Prism product, and then the MAC lipstick. And then the 11T1 skin product, the ABH pen, the banana eye cream, and the tower lip. And then we also have, I've also seen the 11T1 skin product, the Kosas mascara, the Rodeo pink diamond, and the tower lip. And then there's one, two, there's three other variations. The three or four other variations where it's just like one or two. Uh, I've seen those, okay. So next we're gonna go on to Anastasia Beverly Hills. The most prevalent there is getting the uh, 11T1 skin product, the ABH brow pen, the Rodeo pink diamond, and then the Tower lip product. And then the next one after that was, okay, so there are a few that were kind of tied. I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven variations that only have like one or two, one or two people got those variations. So I'm not gonna, 
I'm not going to sell those, but so one, two, three. So these three variations here, these are all pretty much tied. So we have the 11 to 1 skin product, the ABH brow pen, the prism, and then the MAC lipstick. The next one that kind of tied with that is the 11 to 1 skin product, the ABH brow pen, the MAC lipstick, and the Rodeal, which I believe is the one I got. Yeah. Okay, and then there is the LMD1 skin product, the Prism, the Herbal Prism, the Kosas Mascara, and then the Tower lip product. Okay, and then for the for the no palette, for what I'm calling the Charlotte Tilbury variation, I've only seen five variations. That's all I've seen out of the hundred that I sampled. But like I said, I did find 27 people with with these products. So I did not see Charlotte Tilbury in any of the ABH or the one size. Prism has been in those, but Charlotte Tilbury, no. So Char Charlotte Tilbury, she's on her own. <laughs> so the most prevalent I have seen with that one is actually getting the 11D1 skin product, the ABH brow pen, the Prism product, Charlotte Tilbury product, and the Tower Lip. The next most prevalent one is the 11D1 skin product, the Charlotte Tilbury, the Kosas Mascara, the Rodeal Pink Diamond product, and then the Tower Lip. After that is the 11 one Skin product, Charlotte Tilbury, Kosas Mascara, the Tower Lip, and then the Banana Eye Cream. After that is the 11 one Skin product, <laughs> the ABH Brow product, Charlotte Tilbury, Banana Eye Cream, and Tower Lip. And then the last one with only two, very, two people got, is the 11 one Skin product, the ABH Brow Pen, Charlotte Tilbury, the Rodeal, Pink Diamond, and then the Tower Lip. So it's just interesting, you know, for how for how much they hyped up this Glam Bag X is going to have the Charlotte Tilbury and the, the the that Prism product. You know, hardly hardly anyone got got them, in my opinion. Hyping those things up when it's the lowest amount of people getting them kind of feels like a bait and switch. You know what I mean? Like kind of kind of crappy, kind of crappy. Oh. Okay, so look at your email. So when you when you got your choice email, when they confirmed your choices, there's actually a survey at the bottom. So if you're if you want to let them know how you feel about what you got, take that survey. I will post the link in my description box below so that you can take it if you can't find it. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you got. Did you get a variation that I spoke of here, or did you get something completely different? I want to know. Let me know down below. Also, don't forget to uh, like and, again, comment. If you want to subscribe, that would be fantastic. Just keep in mind, I am a weirdo. I do upload every day, so there is no need to hit that notification bell. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.